Hi friends, welcome to Creative DIY Purpose. I'm so happy you've stopped in for a visit. Today, I will be sharing thrifted decor makeovers along with some thrifted vintage inspired items. Thank you for the lovely comments on last week's video. If you liked today's video, please hit the thumbs up button and come on, let's get started. For the first project today, I'm gonna to be repurposing these children's boots. I actually bought them for $4.99. I was going to resell them. I did not realize that they had a hole in the heel and somewhere gave them two coats of Rust-Oleum. It's the primer and paint together. It really adhered very well. I do have to go back and spray the bottoms, but how cute would that be even for a winter display with that fur around the top? but you could display these all year round. Now, before I painted this rubber, I did go ahead, look online. It said that you can use acrylic paint to avoid paints like a chalk base because it will eventually crack. But it would look cute maybe with some burlap or fabric tied around. So inside the boot, depending on where you have them displayed, you could put a vase with real florals, some dried ones, or even a potted plant. I decided to use some of the lavender that I showed you last week. I will link that below for you. It was a great deal, beautiful quality. I added this little bird clip that I found at a thrift store. I printed out a sweet Bible verse that I thought was fitting for spring. If you're making any type of tag and printing it out, you may want to laminate it if you're gonna be putting it on a porch just in case it gets wet. And I thought that this would look so cute for like 4th of July with red, white, and blue. The inspiration for this week's video is a sweet little yellow canister that I'll show you soon. Bright, cherry, and sunny. I wanted to take the orange tint out of these old faux roses. I'm applying a thin coat of acrylic paint and allowing it to dry. I purchased this little mirror for a dollar at our local thrift store. So I'm gonna be picking one of those shades of yellow. We're gonna use the DIY vintage linen paint, and I'm gonna try something new for this project. It is called Gesso, and it is an opaque primer, and it does dry white. I took two coats, which I thought was kind of impressive. I am going to paint over this mirror because I'm going to do something different with this piece. I love all the texture and the detail on the outside of it, but I was really happy with the gesso. My daughter actually had it in her craft stash, and I thought I would give it a try after the first coat, and then that's after the second. So I had to decide which, which shade of yellow, and I ended up going with this pale daffodil which is what i use throughout the whole video I bought that i believe for around 50 cents at walmart i will link the gesso for you below because i'll definitely be using that in future videos i applied one coat of that apple barrel paint once that was dry i applied diy white wax and i did let that sit on there for a couple hours because i really wanted it to soak in I then took a clean cloth and just wiped some of that back. It helped bring out some of the detail in the frame. If you did not have the wax, I think that you could probably do like a whitewash with it and that that would work as well. You would just want to seal it with the sealer of your choice. I felt that this piece needed a little something more. So I took some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color steel i mixed it in with some clear wax from diy it was about a 50 50 mixture i wanted to try it to see if it would bring out a little bit more of the texture and the detail without being too overwhelming do take a dry brush with the same steel paint and just go around the outside edges i then take a cloth and just wipe that back took some of the Waverly chalk paint in steel and I'm just painting that center piece. While that is drying, I have these florals. They are very dusty and dirty. 
I got them for free. Someone thought I could upcycle them. I do pull out some of the daisies and give them a good washing. And then I took them apart. They were still a little dingy. So I applied two coats of the white acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. You could also spray paint these as well, as long as you have them tacked down so that they don't blow away as you're painting them. I found this piece of lace that we're going to repurpose that came off of a shirt. I then take hot glue and go all around the corners and press the piece of lace down. This is how I took it all apart. I'll just show you guys the pieces of it. So that's what it was like before we painted it. Now that they're dry, they're ready to be put back together. These are some dried flowers that I had, and I thought that it would make the perfect center for this daisy. I applied some spray sealer to the center. Once that was dry, I used hot glue to piece them all back together and put our center piece on. You could also use a button with some real dried pet petals or even a bead. The next set of thrifted items are available for sale on my website. So this is the piece that was an inspiration for all the projects today. I like these crock lake canisters because they're great, not only for decoration, but also for storage. The next little piece is a sweet little gray toned pitcher, and it actually has little flecks of brown throughout. I love using little pitchers or the little toothpick holders for to hold my faux candles. See the little brown speckles? I just think this is really sweet. These go great on the tear trays. I found this beautiful egg plate. I thought that someone would love this as part of their spring decor. These quilted tulip placemats, I picked these up at a yard sale and couldn't pass up the quality and how unique they were. I'm not sure what brand they are, Friends, if you would like to connect during the week with Creative DIY Purpose and check out behind the scenes and updated information, you can go right on to the community tab at the top of my channel. And if you're over on Instagram, you can find me at Creative DIY Purpose. I'm currently making a bonus video to share with you and I will be posting what day and time it will be available. I picked up this basket for $4.99 at a thrift store. I believe that it's handmade and I just thought that it had a lot of potential. So I gave it a good cleaning, allowed it to dry, and now I'm gonna go over it with my sander to even it out and get rid of some of the rough edges. I, my husband just recently got me this cordless sander from DeWalt. It is absolutely amazing, and I cannot wait to use it outside this summer on some of the larger pieces that I have. Next, I added a stamp from IOD, the Rose Toile. I apologize. I thought I pressed record and I must not have. So I wanted to add a little bit of whimsy to this basket. So I measured out and I can do every other slat in yellow. So I'm just using the same pale daffodil acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. I wanted to go in and add some with the Q-tip just to make the flowers pop. And I there's a good chance that I painted some of the leaves yellow too, but that's okay. I just wanted it to come out even. Next, I took two more of the stamps in the rose toile set, and I wanted to add a little text and help the center of this basket look a little more even. I realized that there were two paint drips that were pretty noticeable. So I just went on with some 120 grit sandpaper and went in a circular motion. I did, was not going to distress this piece, but I did go through very lightly around the edges and the similar spots over on the other side, just so it would look even. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. This is definitely a piece. I've never done a piece like this. It's definitely on the whimsical side, but I kind of like it. 
it's fun and challenging sometimes just to try something different. I picked up this corbel at a thrift store for $3.99 and I really love upcycling these. You can get a lot of different textures on them. They make a great decorative piece and they also make good bookends. I have the DIY paint in vintage linen. I applied one coat over the entire piece. Then taking the Waverly chalk paint and apply one full coat of that. My original plan was to paint it with the white, then seal it, and then paint it with the gray and wet distress. But I forgot to seal it after I painted it white, and I knew that if I went to wet distress it, that the original color would pop through, and I, I didn't want that. So I went ahead and went a different route and used some DIY white wax, and I'm just applying it on here. You could also do a whitewash. Know that that's not really how you're supposed to use it but it works and I usually have to leave it on there for several hours and then just wipe it back next I took some of the pale yellow I know that this is not probably supposed to be a daisy but we're going with this whole theme I applied some to both of the centers just to give it a little bit more contrast and I felt that it had like a stone look to it and I wanted to enhance that a little bit more each piece today will be sealed with the acrylic spray sealer. Friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Have a super blessed week. God bless.